Hi everyone. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to install APK file on virtual device using Appium server desktop. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install APK file or mobile app on real device using Appium server desktop. And to do this, first of all, we need to see what is Vice or app. So because we need to see the mobile screen on your desktop. And uh, to do this, we need to use Visor app. So this is a, as an extension, it is available for Chrome. And by using this extension, we can view your mobile screen on your screen. And this is basically used for only training purpose. In the real time, while you're testing your applications on mobile, you don't use this. And uh, the next one is, uh, we'll see few settings required on real device or in your mobile, okay? And then we'll come back to your uh, install APK file on your device. So first let us see what is Visor app. So Visor app is used to display the mobile screens on your computer and it is available as an extension for a Chrome. You can have, you have to install it. And also it is available in Play Store in your mobile and uh, this particular app you have to install uh, in your mobile also. So you have to get it this uh, Visor app from the Play Store in your mobile and then download and install it. And uh, in the Chrome browser. So in your desktop or laptop in the Chrome browser also you have to install Visor as an extension. So these are the prerequisite you have to do. In the both the places you need to make sure Visor have been installed. So just go to your Google uh, and here just uh, search for Visor for Chrome. Okay. Then it will give you the Visor Google Chrome. Just go to this particular link and uh, here you can see yeah, this is a Visor app. Okay, this is a just extension for the Chrome. But in your mobile, you have to download the same thing uh, from Play Store, okay? Google Play Store. So here, I already installed this Visor on my uh, Google Chrome so that it is giving just launching app. But in your case, it will give you add extension uh, button here, okay? You have to just click on this. The Visor will be added to your Chrome. So this is the first thing. And the same thing you have to do in your mobile also. Just go to your mobile play store and uh, search for the Visor and install this app. So once you have installed this app in the both the sites, you have to do certain settings on your mobile. So I'll show you what are all settings you have to do in your real time, real mobile is. The first thing is you need to have this developer options enabled in your mobile. But by default, normally uh, mobiles are not uh, enabled this developer options. We have to enable this. I'll just show you how to enable these developer options. Just you need to go to mobile settings. In this settings, you will see uh, about four. So let me just uh, connect to my mobile and show you where we have to do these settings. All right, so this is my uh, mobile. I've just connected through uh, Visor. So here I'll show you what are the uh, different settings you have to do in your mobile. Just go to your mobile settings here. So in this particular settings, uh, you can see the developer options is enabled uh, for my in my mobile by default. But uh, in your case, what you have to do is just go to your about phone and uh, just come to your version. So here you can see Android version, right? So and also you will see uh, some mobiles you will see the build number. So not the version. So just go to build number. Just you have to tap here on this uh, 10 times and uh, automatically your developer options will be enabled. Okay, so just tap 10 times on this build number, then developer options will be automatically enabled. And now you can see a new option called developer options here. Okay, this is the one setting you have to do in your mobile. And once you have done this, uh, you will immediately get these USB debugging connected. Okay, so connected as a media device. So these two settings you have to enable. So media device should be MTP. Now let's go to your mobile and uh, just go back and let's go to again settings here, not settings. And just uh, what you have to do is just drag like this here. So these are the two important things you have to configure. So one is uh, USB debugging connected and uh, you have to uh, enable this one debugging mode and connect as a media device. When you open this one, so you can see two options here and you have to select this one media device MTP. Okay, so then only you can just uh, see your screen on your desktop and also your APM will able to communicate with your devices. So from this mobile, you have to do these kind of settings. Okay, there's a prerequisite. So now my device is connected using Visa. So what you have to do is to identify this device by using Visa, just type Visa here. Okay, 
and it will open uh, as soon as you click on this it will open up this particular screen like this and by default it will not show anything here just click on the find devices but before that you have to connect your device through usb to your system right and then you have to click on this find devices button and then it will automatically find your uh, mobile okay and then it will show you what kind of mobile it is and uh, all the details and as well as it will up uh, it will open a one more window like this and in this window uh, you can see your real mobile screen so this is your real mobile i have just connected my mobile to my system so the same mobile screen is appearing here and then you can just minimize this and now you can just work on this uh, in whichever we are working in normal mobile devices the same operations and when you do some operations here this will be automatically affected on your real mobile and even if you do something in the real mobile that will be automatically affected in this particular vice or ui okay so this is the first thing we need to do so now we have understood what is vice or app what is the use of it and the real device or mobile settings so i have shown you few settings here and then we'll see how to install apk mobile app on real device using appium server desktop so in the last session i have told you about uh, we have to open appium server desktop and uh, we need to use a capture method All right so then we can just provide some capabilities of this mobile like uh, a platform name okay and then um, a version so all the stuff then automatically it will go and install apk file on the mo mobile same steps we have to again follow only thing is we have to change the capabilities because this is a real device so in the previous session on the previous video i showed you how to install this apk file on virtual device and here also we follow the same steps only thing is we have to change certain number of capabilities now let me show you how we can do this so to do this we need to first of all launch this apm server so this is very now i have just launched my apm server now after connect after connecting my uh, real device through visor and we need to launch this one so just start server then this apm server will able to recognize your device so as soon as we have started your server you can just cross check whether it is recognize your mobile or not and to do this we have to just open your command prompt now in this command prompt you can just type one command called adb and uh, devices this is the sdk command and uh, this command will give you what are all devices are connected uh, through this particular apm server so this is the real device name it is giving here right so now my device is connected so now we can install app on this particular device so currently my apm server is able to recognize my device now let's minimize here so let's keep this mobile open now what we have to do is we need to follow the same steps again so here we have an option called uh, start inspector session right so we need to click on this one and as soon as we click on this it will open up one more window like this and here we need to specify the desired capabilities of your mobile right so what are the desired capabilities you have to provide if you are real mobile right so here my mobile is having some desired capabilities like my platform name is android and even device name is also i'm just giving android and then i just say app url so wherever my app is located in my local system so i just provide that app url and then when i start session automatically this app will go and install in your mobile real mobile okay so let's see how we can do this so first one is a platform name let me just add a desired capability so the first one is i am just adding so platform let's say platform name this is a platform name and the value of the platform name is android then add one more uh, capability let's say device name let's say this is my device name and my device name is also let's say android and again one more capability app so i'm going to app install another app so yesterday i've shown you there are i have few apps in my c drive here and uh, here apk files so yesterday i have seen this particular app we have installed in virtual device and today i'll show you another app so api demos.apk so this app file i'm going to install uh, on my real device let me just get the path and uh, put that into capabilities along with the name of the, your apk file let me just capture this api demos.apk now specify the 
complete your uh, path along with this name of your apk file right so once you provided these capabilities and then make sure your mobile is currently open through visor and uh, then let's start session here so parallelly you should also keep open this one so your server is currently running and also we have seen that command your server is identified your device and then just click on start session and based upon this capabilities your uh, appm right so we'll go and install the app in your mobile let me just execute this start session now i have just started session as soon as you started your session immediately it will open up uh, one more window and it is giving something let me cancel this all right so now it will open up uh, one more window and now let us see that now we can see so it is open up a new window and the app is also installed on my mobile so this is my app which contains api demos the same app i have installed right so this app is installed and contains some functionality here so there are some links are available so api demos is my app if you want to clearly see here just minimize this and go to the list of apps and uh, somewhere you can see uh, my android app here and let me just show you here downloads fm radio and uh, this is a visor let me just go through one more time so here you can see this is my app installed and if you still want to see where exactly it is installed just to minimize this and go to uh, settings and inside the settings just go to what are all apps i have installed in my mobile now just go to apps location and here you can just see uh, whichever uh, app is installed here so let me just show you so this is the one so api demo so this is an app just now we have installed uh, through apm server right so similarly uh, here also the new ui is appeared here right so what is use of this ui is we can just identify these elements so here this is a screenshot which is captured uh, by this particular screen and the default screen it is captured suppose i want to capture some other screen we can just refresh it here so you can just refresh here it will capture the new screen from your mobile so the new screen will be reflected right so again these are all element identification method so here this is again source code will be displayed and uh, here this is a element so all ids xpass and will be displayed here let me just open uh, my app here so api demos now currently my uh, app is open right so let me just refresh here the same thing will be reflected in your screenshot so then we can identify these elements so for example i want to identify this element of uh, animation let's click on this animation now it will give you source code and along with this accessibility id xpath and index the text and so on so by using this element uh, locators we can identify these elements while doing your automation testing and suppose if there is any screen changes so for example i have clicked on this content right in mobile and the new options are displayed and the new options have to replace uh, reflected in your image so again you have to just do refresh here then immediately the new options will be reflected here and accordingly you can just go and find these elements and those locators you can just use in your automation tool so that's how we need to install your uh, apk file on your real device by using appear server desktop so so far we have seen two uh, two different approaches installing apk file on virtual device which is created by android studio the other method is install apk apk file or mobile app and real device uh, using app apm server desktop the same component we have to use in a both the ways but the virtual uh, device will be created by virtual studio uh, uh, android studio but uh, real devices we have connected through wise okay that's the only difference so that's all for this video so we'll see rest of the things in the next video so thanks for watching